is the command ship in the pickup area. But Glenn, instructed not to jettison his retrol rockets, lands short of the carrier. Ground instruments indicated his heat shield was loose, and he was instructed to hold onto his rocket bank to help hold the shield in place. Right at hand, however, is the destroyer Noah, and she speeds to the capsule to take the vehicle and pilot aboard. Despite a few shaky moments among ground control personnel, Glenn is down, hale and hearty. With support cables attached, a pincer-like crane will lift the Friendship 7 aboard. The end of a saga. The now famous Friendship 7 is safely lashed to the deck of the destroyer and the crew prepares to help Glenn from the capsule. First, they attempt to help the colonel from his complex prison through the upper exit in the mouth. They encounter difficulties, and so it is decided to blow off the escape hatch cover. First glimpse of the conquering hero, Colonel John H. Glenn. He left his footprints among the stars. He has a grin as wide as the path he blazed as he rests briefly before being flown to the carrier Randolph by helicopter. He is lifted aboard in a maneuver that looks more dangerous than the flight itself. Cotter takes him to the Randolph for a debriefing and examinations by medical men. The copter no sooner touches down on deck than Glenn gets a preview of the congratulations that are still to come. On every hand there is jubilation, on every side smiles and cheers. He signs over his precious log and instruments to the National Space Administration. From here he goes to Grand Turk Island for further rests before the deluge. A deluge of honors a proud country waits to bestow on a brave man. <laughs>